Hi, my name is Sylvia, like Jeanette just said, and I'm the founder of Agora Prep and Agora Plus Academy. Jeanette asked me to speak to you today about the status of education and what we can collectively do in order to revolutionize it. So I thought instead of speaking about it, that I'm gonna wrap it. Because that's usually more fun that way. So are you ready for this? I can't hear you. Are you ready for this? That's better. Okay, here we go. I look around at the situation and I know that we as a nation are conf confused by the ideation of gender identification. What are we asking our kids to do if they can't pick out a pair of shoes? How can we burden them with such a choice when they're developing their little voice? The fear agenda has got me scared. For this type of new normal, I'm not prepared. Schools today are antiquated, archaic, unchanged, contaminated. Raise your hand, still sit while we direct. Children are mistreated with no respect. No, hungry does not mean you can eat. Keep your mouth shut and stay in your seat. Don't you dare question authority or critically think. Ask first to pee, to talk, to blink. Have you ever felt like school was like jail, a systemic conjuration setting them up to fail? Why are we mistreating our future generation with so much control and indoctrination? Learning is innate, it's in us, it's organic. So why are the schedules and systems so manic? How can we create leaders in a system of compliance which only leads to conformity or intense defiance? More and more children are taking pills instead of learning coping and learning skills. So many acronyms have got my head spinning, misdiagnosing to control them as the underpinning. ADD, ADHD, OCD, ODD, ASD. Everyone has something if you look closely. What happened to our society? Why do we need to label every child with such high degree? Why are we seeking a way to make them the same? When they're born beautifully unique and different, it's a shame. Creative genius is often deleted because our definition of success is depleted. Our vision of intelligence is grossly deep-seated in su subjects that seem dire and definitively needed. But if we take a moment, a breath, a look, we know that intelligence is not found in a book. It's a song, a dance, a child who can climb trees. It's being in nature or vivid imagination that no one sees. It's a simple hum or the beatbox of a drum smart to another is different than some. Each child is born with a purpose in this world. As they develop, we witness their talents unfurl. It's important to provide them with the chance to sing, to ask, to learn, to dance. Alternative schools allow them to be the best versions of themselves unequivocally. My academy was built for all abilities. We empower genius and disregard disabilities. For this, I ask you to ask yourself, please, who invented questions, that's right. Socrates. Ancient science and facts were learned through debate. Questions and discussions were the main trait of a learning environment that caused the Ephora, an ancient Greek place called the Agora. This is why we built a space for every child who thinks to research and present and make their own links, a place where they can eat when they want without asking, a place where they can sit where they want while multitasking, a setting where they have access to the facilities to go when they want and do as they please. We still teach math, science, language, and art, but more than this, we teach them with heart. We hug them, we love them, we honor them and cherish, so their own self-esteem can never perish. We respect them because we know in our soul that they are the future of us all. Scientists, farmers, innovators, intellectuals, readers, politicians, athletes, creators, and leaders. Now is the time to stand firm in our beliefs. That childhood is sacred and oh so brief. We need to protect our future from extinction through political agendas and this honorable distinction. This is our outcry, our battle to change a system of failure that's quite deranged. We are your alternative to the messages of fear and self-hate as we all took a leap of faith here to create a safe haven for our children who deserve every single bit of our effort, our energy, our love, and everything we deem fit. For the kings and the queens of the future monarchy to prepare them to fight in the upcoming anarchy. It's pivotal to equip them with the skills that they need 
to truly shine for who they are and succeed. So now I said, my piece, this is it. This is all I got. Let's give them a chance to shoot for the stars. It's their only shot. Yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Backup career was rap artist, but that didn't come through very well. So I decided I'd just put it into principalship and ownership of a school. So you're welcome. I wrote that yesterday, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> you nailed it. That's incredible. I, you deserve a hug. Yes, I think we need to revive her career in the rap scene. Chigga, chigga. <laughs> And Sylvia, she is up to high school. She is doing phenomenal things. So there are options across the board. And as you can tell, she is insanely creative because I could never write that. <laughs>